Swimming World TV here with Kelsey Floyd, senior from Tennessee, and you guys kicked off probably dream day one. Right. And you were a big part of that. First off, you had the first and the last relay, and Tennessee's overall second going into day number two. How are you guys feeling? Um, this has been definitely the most amazing first day uh, Tennessee's had since I've been here. And that kind of momentum is just really a good feeling to have going into the next two days. We have a lot of great swims coming up tomorrow. And we've always had relays be competitive. And this year, uh, we noticed that they were really close to being able to win. And we really came as a group and set our mind to it. And it was really fun like to get it done. And Not only like win, but be close to some American records. Let's go back to the first relay to kick off the night where you were, you basically anchored in a 2148, which would have been very competitive in the 50 freestyle, which you didn't swim. Right. And you were able to win the relay for Tennessee. Where was the focus at in the 50? Well, <clears throat> I swam the 50 at SECs and like within three days after that meet, I went to Matt and I was like, so when do you want me to tell you that I want to do all five relays at NCAAs? Because if I were to do four, I probably would have dropped that one. So I knew that I, I, or at least thought I could have made a bigger impact in that relay than swimming individually. If I had made top eight, that would have been great, but we had two awesome sprinters in the top eight already, and I knew if I could kind of add to the relay, then we could maybe win it, and then that like almost counter balances the points that would have been lost from me swimming the 50. So. so it was more of a team decision to do all of the relays and only two individuals. Definitely. All right, let's talk about the last relay before we go into your individual. Okay. The 400 medley relay, you take the lead for your squad in the 100 butterfly leg, 50.3 or 50.9 tonight. Was... You seem ecstatic about that. Yeah, that's been a marker that I've been trying to go for and then like that's just for personal and then what was the mark we, to go 50 point and so that was like so awesome to hear that I did that but really as a team that relay has always been really strong and I feel like we come into the meet oftentimes seated first or after prelims are seated first and then we've never won it so that was a huge Thing I put my mind to and I think the whole relay was really excited about it especially after winning the first one and it's really a cool feeling to be able to win it my senior year after being so close the last three years. Last year going into your butterfly events you're going to swim the 100 and 200 fly mm -hmm. this weekend and you were third in both of those events last year. What is it going to take to win those this year now that you have some extra confidence on your side? Right. Um, I think staying true to my stroke I've gotten a lot stronger this year, so that sometimes I've found myself muscling through um, butterfly more this year than I ever have, so I think staying true to my stroke and being relaxed, especially in the front half, and then really turning it on in the back half of my races. Being this is your senior year, what's happened to Tennessee over the last year that has just catapulted you guys up to the top this weekend? What would you attribute the biggest changes to being? Um, man, there's so many. Like, we've had so many changes this year. We had combined team. We had four new coaches plus one volunteer coach. Um, and then we have so many freshmen. And I would say that it was really a combination of all of those things. It creates a culture that um, is really powerful and really sets our team up to do well and want to do well and get excited about swimming. Now you guys are one of the last teams on the pool deck tonight by far. Are you, is that normal or are you guys just moving a little slower because you're celebrating along the way? Um, we, I think we're having drug testing. People uh, can't go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so we're kind of waiting for them and I'm really, I told um, Matt this year that I want to make sure I'm fully warmed down, recover well, and then prepare for each race, and that's really important for me to do um, going into like all my different swims. So that's a focus for me, and I don't mind if it takes a little longer. Do you train more for the 100 or 200 fly? Um, I would say I'm an aerobic swimmer, so 
the speed this year I really think has just come from being bigger and stronger and I would say I probably train more for the 200 but I really don't swim that much fly I know some flyers that just do like 300s fly all the time and that would not work for me <laughs> <laughs> all right lastly are you going to continue swimming after college I have mentally committed myself to at least a year and I plan on going past that but I know this summer I'm going to Russia for sure and then hopefully I can make the world champ team so we'll see how it goes definitely a summer committed to that and then probably the rest we'll see how long it goes <laughs> great job tonight in the relays and good Thank luck you. tomorrow